The last of the Moodle activities that we're going to look at in this course is going to be the wiki. So again, you add an activity, click on wiki, the explanation will come up, which is very valuable actually, and then you add the wiki by clicking the add button at the bottom. This activity has an extremely simple setup. You can see I've added the wiki name, a quick description. I have checked the box to put the description on, but that is optional. The wiki mode. Here we have two modes, either individual or collaborative. In the collaborative mode, each student uh, will work on this, all students will work on the same wiki or the same series of pages. If I switch to the individual, then each student would get their own page. Um, in my opinion, a wiki wiki is about being collaborative. That's the that's the purpose of it. It's about um, getting a lot of people's different input and and knowledge and combining it into a a single document or series of pages. Also, you're going to need to give a first page name on this. Format I would leave as the default HTML, and common module settings you can choose when to hide or reveal this particular activity. So when you're done with that, save and return to course. And let's click on that wiki to see exactly how it works. When you first enter, you'll need to create the page. And again, if students had individual pages, they would just need to create a page when they entered. And then this is the wiki page right here. So basically it's a box to type in. Uh, we have all our, ma our controls, so we could embed a video if we wanted to. We could um, add documents. We could add hyperlinks, etc. to link out. So there's a lot that we can do in this box. Let's just say best. And then... Whatever you'd like to say. It can be done, um, the, basically the group is going to determine the format, so it certainly could be in paragraph form. There's nothing to stop a simple one from being in bullet form, etc. Now, you can add tags if you'd like to it. Um, I don't think that's probably necessary in this case, but once you've worked on it, you simply say save, and it's going to bring you to this view screen, so this is your wiki. Now, you can come back into edit and you can make changes at any time. And again, you would need to save. You can add comments in a separate tab. So you do that by adding comment. And here, uh, okay, and then people can come back in. You can see my comment is here. This can be edited or deleted by me. Other people can add their comments in. There's also a history tab. One feature of a wiki is that it preserves past versions. So if there was something lost or something in dispute, we can go back here. And we're currently on version 2. I can click on that. Um, but I could also come back to version 1 here and, and see what was in that version. I can make comparisons between them. Uh, there is a map tab. And this just allows me to display different types of files. So um, a page a page list or links uh, that are included, uh, orphaned pages, updated pages, uh, different types of things. So let's look at updated pages. And you can see that it was just best practices that was updated. You can attach files, etc. We haven't done so, but if we did, um, you would have files here and this is a great idea when students are actually doing research and collecting information not only do they uh, 
integrate their information into the wiki, but they can post the supporting documents as well. The administration tab would not be available to all, all users, but it is available to you. And then this is where you can remove pages or delete page versions if you no longer need them. And the wiki is a fairly simple activity as far as setting it up and controlling it, but it's got a lot of uh, potential for have, to have students work collaboratively.